Hello and welcome everyone back to the Collective Minds podcast. So I saw something about this today. It seems like Ohio is having some trouble uh, with a um, bunch of missing kids. I saw at least a thousand reported. A lot of these, it's like 800,000 or something a year in the U.S. go missing, but that could be multiple runaways. It all counts it. But by being able to muddy that water, what it does is stop people from knowing exactly how many are taken or disappeared or what's going on so just in reference to hawaii and the possible other places where this seems to be happening um this just makes for really interesting news so northeast ohio sees uptake in missing children cases and what that means says according to newburgh heights police chief john majoy local law enforcement are seeing an uptick in missing children says, back in the late spring, we saw an uptick in the number of missing children cases. Now we are seeing a second wave of an uptick in missing children. We can attribute it to kids being back in school. The weather is still decent, said Majoy. <coughs> says, uh, right now, the Ohio Attorney General's Missing Children website has more than 45 children listed missing in Northeast Ohio in the month of September. says in august there were 35 we also have to remember that a good majority of cases are runaways it doesn't minimize the urgency because they're putting themselves in danger but they are an abduction said majoy let's see so in the month of september so it's a thousand allegedly missing since the beginning of the year says he's also the president of cleveland missing a local nonprofit. It says i don't want them to put cleveland in a light that we have all these vanishing children because it's not quite the case do we have an uptick yes is there concern of course but at the same token law enforcement is doing their due diligence said majoy ohio attorney general dave yost acknowledged the problem as well as the work of local law enforcement wednesday we know that law enforcement recovers 90 percent of the children that go missing with that being said one kid missing is one kid too many looks like they're covering up a little bit here in 2022, detectives solved 99% of all missing person cases received. So far this year, 94% of all cases have been solved. So that's good news, if it's accurate. Let's see. This is viral headlines right here. Exclusive interview with 3 News. Wednesday night, the Cleveland police chief called the reports inaccurate, citing 65 juveniles currently missing. <clears throat> So as you may have seen the wives, widespread news headlines this week about a high number of children reported missing in Cleveland and across the state. The story was even picked up by a number of international news outlets like Britain's The Sun and Mirror Newspapers. Newber Heights Police Chief John Majoy saw them too and spent the day Wednesday setting the record straight with national news outlets. <clears throat> I told them that I would not do the interview if they were going to use the words vanished or disappeared. Which is very interesting, because if you have nothing to hide, why wouldn't you just come out and say it? If, it's, if people are just being dumb and exaggerating everything, then what, what's, what's there to hide on this? What's going on? Why not confront it head on? Uh, instead of just silencing, don't say these words, don't say anything, my narrative's the one. Just come with evidence. It's not that hard. If kids aren't missing, then it should be an easy thing to prove. Uh, Majoy serves as president of Cleveland Missing, a nonprofit center for Cleveland missing children and adults that was co founded by Gina De Jesus, De Jesus, who survived a decade long captivity along with Amanda Berry and Michelle Knight. Uh, Three News asked Majoy whether there was any truth to the headline. So he's their talking head through all these articles. He says, I don't want to accuse anyone of being untrue. But I think that they are being more sensationalized than what is needed, said Majoy, who fears that the reports are harmful by causing undue panic. They're really kind of putting Cleveland in a bad light, almost the missing children capital of the world or something, he said. But you have to understand that in a population of 375,000 people, if you compare that to other cities, the number is not all that is skewed as to the other cities. Uh, said he could not confirm the source and information some of the news articles, many of which cite the Ohio Attorney General's Missing Children website and database. I wonder if we can hit that real quick. Let's see what that says. Missing Children, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. How many of these is there? Oh, so on their official website, people got on here and went through and looked. A ton of kids missing.
says 1.5 million kids per year reported missing after running away from being home or being thrown out of the house, which is weird because it was just 800,000 a couple years ago. This is the, uh, the Google report. You could just Google it and it'd show up. It says more than 1,000 have been reported missing in and around Cleveland, Ohio. A story that 45 had gone missing across northeast Ohio in September alone gained national attention with the implication that the region was a particular hotspot for kids disappearing. Not anymore. Not if people know about it. While it's accurate to say a thousand kids have been reported missing in the Cleveland area so far, experts say it's not accurate to suggest that all those kids vanished or are still missing. So, right here, they admit it. The Messenger News, there is a thousand kids that have been reported missing. No, those numbers don't reflect that 90% at least return home within a day. <clears throat> huh. They should show the stats on that. Says the missing children reports in Cleveland are up 20% from this time last year. On Sunday alone, three children aged 11, 15, and 17 were reported missing. Says... Cleveland Police Department said earlier this year that it hadn't been able to determine the reason behind the rise for 2023. The vast majority of missing juveniles are runaways and sometimes habitual runaways. And that's what they always use to cover the mass amount of numbers. I don't say that to, minimi to minimize missing juveniles. I say that to add context. To muddy the water. As they could go to a friend's house or they're at the park... They make this easier, people, as well, because with adults, you have to wait like 24, sometimes 48 hours to report them missing. With children, you can do it instantly. So it really helps when muddying those waters. 1,072 children, as of this year, reported missing in Cleveland have returned home or were accounted for. However, that leaves around 50. They will admit to being unaccounted for. 